Hello, welcome. I'm Scrumpy. Thanks for joining me. This is episode 25 of our Danish Raiders series. And you can see we're just about to pull the trigger and declare war on King Arnulf of East Francia for Brunschvig. I think it's too late because I think it's 890 um, and this might cause some issues with Crusades. But um, I'm not sure if I've got that right or not, so let's find out. We're going to go for it. Go for the conquest of, of Brunschvig. We can do that because we can conquest it because we've got Chell here. So it's an adjacent county and we are Germanic pagan, we're Norse. And we're tribal. All right, here we go. So we can call in allies and I suggest we do that absolutely. Get everybody in that we can. So it's going to be doing a little bit of clicking here. Click, click, click. Work through everybody that we could call in. So I'm just doing that now. Man, I love all these different characters. I can never remember though which which we can call to arms and which ones we can't. There's so many of them. I think we've done the ones we can. Brilliant. Uh, we can raise up our levies. We've got 3,000 of our own. Let's do that. And let's raise up our boats as well. And select all of our troops. Shift V. Get him into boats. You can kind of go that way, I think. It's the right way to do that. Yep, so quickest way in here is to, I think, is to go to via Chell probably, so we'll do that into Chell lots of people coming in to honour their obligations to join my war which is really satisfying form up the armies I think we'll go with you in the middle at this point, Zamunda your organised and heavy infantry leader of Tay and Ananda on the on the flanks. Let's send you straight into Braunschweig and try and uh, try and dominate. Just disband these ships that are here. They're not doing anything particularly useful. You can go back and pick up these guys. Yeah, that's what we want you to do. In you go. Ooh, my vast is trying to kill my spy master. Well, I'd like to end that plot, please, sir. Thank you very much. So let's get sieging. We could assault this holding because we've got more than a 10 to 1 ratio. So Simundur wants to stop his plot because I've asked him to and he said yes. So we will assault in Brunschvig. That will cost us some troops, but we know we sieged through it recently. Oh dear, the face of Skane seeks to fabricate a claim on the Yardom of Skane. You like me more than the current guy, but you're ambitious. I don't really want that. We're going to ask you to end your plot. I insist you end your plot, sir. Victory there. We can't assault this holding. The uh, ratio is only like 4 to 1, so we'll let that one sort of siege down normally. Good speed three is fine. Let's get these guys on the boats. Send the boats round. I've got an event fired. Just bear with me and I will then read it out. All right. Throughout the day, I've caught myself grinding my teeth and being unable to focus on anything for long. I suddenly realised why I've been in a bad mood all day. I can't seem to abide having lazy people in my presence. So I've got a lazy heir to the baronry of Tecklenburg. Who's in my prison. Um, <laughs> um, I could try and get him to stop being slothful. That's hilarious. Um, great. <laughs> Don't think it did anything. Let's slowly siege uh, siege through here. We're going along quite nicely. Lots of messages. 
Hmm. So the guy I've got marked as special interest, King Arnulf. I think I'm less interested in him now, personally. So I think we can not take this, take the toggle off special interest. Good. Wow, we've got a big old army here. Perhaps it's time to split it. I think we probably should should do that. Split the army and send 1,300 of them that way. Because we know we sacked this recently, so it'll be very easy to assault. So victory in that siege. We... Ooh. Perhaps, no, it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, even though they're burning. That's strange. Okay. In you go. Let's stand these boats down. Just so that they're not uh, costing us too much money. Uh, we're losing six gold a month. Ah, I've discovered a plot. My, so my spy master has discovered a plot where, where my concubine is trying to kill me. Goodness me! <laughs> End your plot, dear. I could secretly convert to Catholic. <laughs> no, I could set her aside. But actually, I'm really enjoying. Um, I'm enjoying this, to be honest. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good times. Mm. Victory in the Siege of Bealfield. So my concubine is, says, May live in harmony and contentment. Your demand is just. My scheming was obviously misdirected. I hope you will find it. You will find it in you to forgive me. Well, I will find it. Absolutely. We've got 23% war score. Could send an army in to crush, crush them. I think that's probably what we will do. We should do. Let's go and hit them. Let's do that while the siege is rolling on. Yep, and then we can. To be honest, we'll we'll, we'll look to siege this one down as well. We can actually assault here because it's a massive ratio. 5,000 to 188. So we'll do that. Siege of Gottingham is complete. This again is more than 10 to 1 ratio in Gottingham. So we'll do that. 29% war score. Oh, one second. So my vast has declared a Bremenian conquest on. Oh, goodness me. Oh, he's going for this one. Well, okay, bring it into our realm, that's fine. He's going for the small islands in the sound. Which are called, it's called Rugen. Very satisfying. Still got more than the 10 to 1 ratio here, but this is still quite a big, quite a big scary assault to go for, actually. I'm not quite sure I'm up for that. I think we'll just quietly siege through it. I think that makes more sense. Yeah. All right. We are 21 years old. Another 10.8 war score. We're at 44% war score. Could change away from the war focus, but just now I'm kind of uh, kind of enjoying it. Ah. We have taken some more ladies. We have taken a 34-year-old um, Ilse, German girl. Very good. My wife Ilse has complained about me of being absent so often, and so when I found I had some extra gold to spend, I decided to buy her something nice, maybe some sort of jewellery. This bracelet would really bring out the colour in her eyes <laughs> spend five gold get her to um, like me by 15 more 
She currently likes me okay, 17. Spend 10, she'll like me by 20 more. A cameo of myself, perhaps. Ruby earrings for 15 gold and she will fall in love with me. You know, I mean, yeah, come on, we all, we, we all know that we want to spend the gold and get her to fall in love with me. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Another successful siege. And we are not doing anything here. Let's... Are you even part of... Who are we fighting? <laughs> 50%. Let's go to Munster. We may split again actually in a minute. We had successful siege here. Yep, yeah, let's keep sieging. We could split actually, and I'm tempted to split and go again. Goodness. Mm, yeah, and you go. So we're gonna just go for a go for a battle here. Siege of Githorn is done. Some more raiders arriving. Oh, in Bremen, we might be able to do something about that. Quick pause. I think we probably could do something about that. Let's send some troops in to try and drive them off. Good. So we are we're gonna drive some raiders out of Bremen. We're sieging in two other counties, and actually they've arrived in Holstein as well. Ooh, our holding in Gottingham is under siege. Cheeky chickens. Well, we will come for them in a minute. Mm. They've actually got 2,000 men here. Let's be a little bit careful. Let's finish the siege in Munster, and then let's move. Osnabrück is done. Let's send 3,000 troops in. And look to crush them. Good. Oh, wow, lots of sieges, lots of sieges completing. Have we successfully driven these raiders out? Hmm. We have. Okay, so my vassal has formed an alliance. Who are my vassals have formed alliances? That's fair enough. There's a big battle on here. We've got 79% war score and there's a huge battle on. In the meantime, some, well, someone else is trying to kill my, my poor spy master. Stop that. Uh, battle of, Her of Hereford is complete. That was up in uh, Bremen against raiders. Unknown raiders. The big war between myself and East Francia is going on in the south here. And we are... We massively outnumber them. We're crushing them. Easy peasy. Ah, snake in the eyes captured uh, captured somebody. Very nice. He's been busy. Oh, good. My seer has had a successful mission to Bremen, where we had a slightly dodgy relationship with this vassal. So let's hope that when we press perfect, it will improve. It will, it'll go up to 15. That still says minus five, that'll update in a moment. If you look at the opinion, it says opinion 15. Big war score, that big battle in Gottingen down here has, has, has won this for us. 31 war score, 7.3 prestige, 3.6 piety, and even, and even a bit of military tech. They lost their army, 735 dead. Pause, let's, um, let's offer peace. Enforce our demands, we will gain the county of Braunschweig, we will gain the city of Bielefeld, and the Bishop Brick, uh, the Bishop Brick of Paderborn, which is the one we really wanted. 74 prestige, 37 piety, plus 1% moral authority. So we're usurping titles, Olaf of Uden becomes chief of Paderborn, uh, and uh, the city of Bielefeld, and we're chief of Bielefeld. There we go. The Danish conquest of Braunschweig has ended. King Olaf of Denmark has won. Good. So now we've got wrong type of holding, clearly. Um, so, but we, if we go to our religion tab, 
We do now have three. We have control of three um, holy sites Tolan, Paydabor, and Cledra. We've also got 61% moral authority. What's holding us back now is we need the piety. So we need another sort of 80 or so piety, 82 piety. We're gaining one a month. So that's good. that would take quite a few years. So it's going to need to be more wars in order to get that piety. Hmm. Really pleasing though. We've got another holy site. Denmark is expanding. I'm developing as a character, age 21. I've got three children already, two sons and a daughter. I think it's time to wrap this episode up here. Join me next time where we will be probably planning on... Oh, look. Hang on, hang on, before I get overexcited here. There's a major war on here. So the Catholic of House of Aring, who was really powerful and is now incredibly weak, is defending against the Russian prepared invasion of Sweden. Wow. 6,000 troops. Big invasion of Sweden. It's defending against King Olaf the Seducer in the Ostlander conquest of Nomadal. So then, yeah. So the Ostlanders are going for them as well. And Chief of Rostock is going for them. <laughs> he's after Rugen down here. And he's defending against these guys, an independent leader. And he's defending against my guy in Bremen for Oldenburg, this county. My goodness, they are being, they're really in with a chance of being wrecked here. And uh, I'm delighted by that, other than I do want to take Upland. Hmm, the Ostlandits are not looking super strong either. Could be a good opportunity to head north here, guys, in the next episode. We'll be looking at that. And, uh, well, join me then. Be a lot of fun. Thanks, bye. Thank you.